All right, it is October 22nd, 2009, and we're just out doing some surveillance for one of our finance companies. Uh, it's a repo that we did out here back on uh, March 13th of uh, this year on an F-250, and they are now suing for trespassing and apparently some uh, alleged damage to their asphalt, and so we've been asked to come back out, get some video footage of the asphalt and kind of show where the truck was parked, uh, how far we uh, pulled the vehicle, um, and then also they wanted us to get on video footage the uh, any of the no trespass signs and anything like that uh, to show uh, documentation of any changes that they've made since the repossession because we do have video of the repo and so we're going to compare w what was on video that day and what they've done since then. So we're just around the corner of a building here. We've got to deal with the issue of them seeing us and coming out and asking us to leave the premises before we get what we need on video. So we're just kind of taking it easy here and coming through a back way. Okay, so where that Chrysler is parked behind the Hummer is about where the Chrysler was parked that same day and the F-250 was parked right next to it in that empty spot right there just to the uh, side of the shed there and that sign right there I do not believe was there that day we'll have to go back and check the video footage and see if that uh, private property sign was there and then they have also put a private property sign on a pole right there that is actually on an easement way between the property behind them and their property and I don't see any other signs so what we're gonna do is we're just kinda showing the parking lot here the condition of it it's pretty much the same condition it was that day it's pretty poor uh, blacktop been, had a lot of wear and tear and the F-250 was backed in right there and what we did is we hooked it from the front and we had to actually pull it out about four feet and then drop it and then go around to there and then back into the rear of the truck and then lift it and then we pulled around like this and then we rolled out and we went out exited the parking lot that way with the truck rolling so the only place that the tires made any kind of I guess you could call it negative contact with the uh, ground would be with the four to five feet that we had to pull it out right there. And as you can see, the concrete's already in pretty poor condition. We're gonna go ahead and just walk up close now. What's up, man? How much? What's up? What are you doing? Just catching some video. You have any question or something? No, no question. Do you hear about the case and all this stuff? Do what? About the case on Evil Trade Union and all this stuff? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? So what do you trying to find now? Oh, they actually asked us, their attorneys asked us to not talk about the case until it goes to court. So they just asked us to come out and get some video footage for them, um, kind of go over the whole scenario, I guess, when we picked up the truck and stuff, and just kind of an explanation of how we picked it up and all that kind of stuff, yeah. just to cover all of our bases and stuff. Yeah, so. but because you, you already know about the kid sent to repo the wrong truck, you know? Oh, they did? Yeah, because the truck was late, it was the Tahoe. Right. I don't know if you don't know nothing about it. I know you did your job. You right, know? right. 
if someone told you, okay, go river that truck, you're gonna go do it because that's your job. You right. get money for that. Yeah. You understand. Right. But you know, but I think collection manager, mm -hmm. he used you, you know, for say, oh, go repo the Federico's truck, you know? Right. And you take my truck and we have proof like the truck was late, was the Chip Tahoe. Did they talk to you guys about the cross collateral clause in your contract? Yeah, they talk about the contract, but the contract at the lower say, okay, it's no contract. One car is for one contract is for one car, and the other right. contract is for the other one. Right. So, right. That's the whole story, you know. We're not trying to give you in trouble to you, but it's, I think, use you, you know. Right. Because if you don't know nothing about the truck, you know. Yeah. Juan Mendoza sent the. To, he used you to send out to take the other truck. You know? Right, right. But so did they? So did they pick up the Tahoe too, or no? No, we. And then my dad got mad for that. So uh -huh. he said, "Okay, here's the Tahoe. I don't want to spend any more penny to you guys." Sure. Because you know it's making mad. You know when you don't pay your bills. Yeah, we understand. You take the the truck. You know. Right. But the problem was that bill in that truck was currently. You know. Right. So and he had to report the other one. Right. And the Coast Guard say no. It's right. one truck for one loan, and the other truck have another contract. Gotcha. So, yeah, you know. So you guys have an upcoming court date? Um, we don't know. We're waiting for... Waiting to hear? Okay. To hear. ¿Qué pasó? No, sí, está todo bien. Is that your Hummer? Huh? Is that your Hummer? Yeah. Nice. I like the wheels. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. But, you going to get it lifted higher or just leave it like that? Uh, it's so expensive to the gas. Yeah. But yeah, yeah they probably get what 10 12 miles to the gallon it's giving me like around 10 or something 10 like that. yeah that's what my excursion got that's why i had to get rid of this too much too much money mm -hmm. so but but yeah they just asked us to come out and they want i guess they're kind of concerned about the uh the asphalt and stuff and so they wanted us to get to some video of the parking lot and stuff yeah. so you can do anything we don't have nothing to do i don't i don't you know yeah you're cool when i know like when i was coming my bike and you like was looking for that bike the r6 you know? yeah. yeah so yeah that thing i got, understand you know that thing got but trashed the, <laughs> but the problem yeah because I'm is, your, is your leg better yeah you got pins or anything i got pin like right there yeah and i got like right here oh right yeah. there yeah i have like you know i'm always like on my friend like like do wheels and all this stuff you know getting crazy and you know, do you see the gas tank? Mm -hmm. We go like that to like stun it so you yep. can like. So yep. that's why I use the bike, you know. But yep. Stunting? Yeah. Cool. But. Oh. See, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I just telling my mom, you're cool. Oh, yeah. tell me, he don't know nothing about the truck. He take the. Yeah. The fork was paid. Paid? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just give us the assignments and have us go out and pick the vehicles up, so. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember I was talking to you, and you say, "Oh, the bank told me I had to take right. the truck." Yeah, you called me. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, if you want, you can they be there. We don't have any problems here. Okay. Cool. So. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, it's fine. All right. Thank you. Come in, check you. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Jason, is Steve or Juan available?
certain. Hey, the uh, F-250 is here for, uh, uh, but the uh, Tahoe is not. He wants to go ahead and take the uh, truck or not. Well, we've got the, this is the one the kid's driving. The dad's bringing the Tahoe back from California, and so they, he won't have any idea about what's going on, but this is the one the kid's driving because it's here at the mom and dad's um, uh, business right now, uh, backed in behind it. So, uh, I mean, we can get this one here, and the Tahoe's, it's not in town yet, but it will be here eventually, and they don't, and they don't have a garage at their house. Okay. I'll grab the truck now. Where do you, now, do you want me to, can I go ahead and take this truck? It's got a lift on it and stuff, and so it's not going to travel down the freeway very well. Okay, all right, I'll take it over to you guys in town and uh, here in, in Spanish Fork. I'll have a bike. Hi, is Julio or Federico here? No. Okay. Where, uh, do you work here? Yeah. Are you related to them? Who are you? Uh, I, we're here picking up the truck that's out back and just wanted to know if you guys needed to get anything out of it before we picked it up. What's that? The, uh, the tan F-250, the one that's got the lift on it, the, the jacked up, the big tires. Well, and so I, is there anything you guys need to get out of it before we take it? Uh, any personal property or cell phone chargers or anything like that? Do you have to repo? Yeah, we're picking it up for for the bank. For Ford? What's that? Ford? For what? Which Ford? truck? The no. Oh, Ford. Yeah, the Ford out back. Yeah, the F-250. Are you sure? Am I sure? The Ford is paid. Uh, no, the, the the truck out back. The no, 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 the truck. Okay, well, they, they asked us to pick up the truck. Ask the truck. We just got off the phone I, with them. I think it's the truck. Okay. The truck is no place. Okay, is the Tahoe here? No. In California, where is it? Uh huh. Okay. My son in law. He's coming today. Hey, I'm here talking with what? What's your first name? Your first name? First name? Yeah. Blanca. Blanca. I'm here talking to Blanca at the uh, Miller uh, dry cleaning, and she says that the uh, Ford F-250 is, uh, hi, is uh, paid for, and that we're only supposed to be picking up the Tahoe. And I said, well, I, you know, that's something you need to work out with the bank. And so I just want to double check with you guys. You guys do have the title on the F-250, and it's not paid off? Okay, is it, is it current? Maybe that's what she means is it's current and so that's the... Okay. Oh, I remember, it's her son. And, and I asked about the, I asked about the uh, other vehicle and they said that it's in California and I said, do you know when it'll be back here? And they said two weeks. So, I don't know what, what they're talking about, but... Okay, all right, I'll let them know about the cross collateral. Thank you, bye. Oh, 
to do this the old fun way. Uh, so this truck is current, but because they have multiple loans, this particular credit union uses a cross collateral clause that says that if any of your loans are delinquent, we can take any of the collateral from any of the uh, any of the secured collateral against any of your loans. So these people, of course, are confused because they think that. Current, and they don't understand the cross collateral portion of it. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, I, what's going on? Uh, someone just handed me this phone. What's going on? Uh, we're repossessing a truck. I know, they, they know that this truck is current. They don't, they're not disputing that this truck is current, but you've got what's called a cross-collateral clause in your loan that says that any, if any of your loans are delinquent, they can pick up any of the collateral. And I guess that, that you've got a Tahoe that's behind right now that is also adjoined to the same account. And because the Tahoe is behind and not available, I guess it's in California right now, it asks us to come out and pick up the other piece of collateral that is secured against the loan. So, so they're just having us pick up the truck right now. Is there? Uh, are you the owner of it? Okay. Is there any? Go ahead. Go ahead. I know, this is, the, 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 the Tahoe is still behind. But we're not saying the truck is behind, we're saying that the Tahoe is behind. I know, but the, the bank has asked us to pick up this truck until the Tahoe is brought current. And so your mom, so your parents need to get in and take care of that Tahoe payment and then they can get the truck back to you. Okay, see, see, the, see the loans are tied together, so if one, if one car is late, they can take either one. Does that make sense? And so, and so what they're so what they're doing is because the Tahoe's not available. I guess your parents said it's in California right now. So what they want us to do is we're, we're basically picking up this truck in lieu of the Tahoe until you guys can bring the Tahoe current. It it's the same it's the same uh, loan and stuff. With the with the bank, if, they, if you've got multiple loans with the same bank, in the small print there's a thing that's called cross collateral. And what that means is if you have if you have vehicles that secure different loans at the same bank, they can they can adjoin either one of them, and that includes for collection practices. So it doesn't matter what the name is; it's the same bank, and the, and the, and they're tied together. So um, and you and I don't know who who needs to make the payment on the Tahoe, but you just need to get that taken care of, and then they'll get the truck back to you. Okay. All right. Thanks. You guys have a key? A key? No?
Hey, is someone trying to get a hold of me from there? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, it's got a, it's got a nice lift, big tires. Um, the body looks good. It looks like it's been repainted, uh, but they, you know, it's, it's still gold metallic with like a flake in it. There's a little bit of damage up by the front hood. It's just, I mean, just like two inches long. Um, and then back on the passenger side in the rear uh, quarter panel, there's a little bit. We can tell there's been some Bondo work and stuff, and that's probably why they repainted the truck. So, but I mean, it looks good though. It's got nice wheels, big lift. Uh, behind the dry cleaning place at the parents home and it was backed in because they knew we were going to try to take it so they backed it in and left it locked up with no keys so I had to pick it up from the front and drag it out into the parking lot and then drop it and then grab it from the rear and I'm taking it to the uh, Spanish Fork lockup right now okay I will and then they said that the Tahoe is uh, in California and won't be back for two weeks Okay, well, I, I'll we'll keep watching for it because a lot of times they try to get us misinformation like that. So, I mean, I don't pay a lot of attention to it, but uh, we'll, we'll be watching it over the weekend. All right? All right, thank you. Bye. You're going to the bank? Yeah. Okay. She's going to the bank. She's done that a long time ago, lady. We've never met. I might have this big ass monster truck on the back of my truck. As you can see, uh, you know, what we do is we deal with what's out there, we deal with what is. The truck turns out to have a huge lift on it, and we deal with the fact that it's got a huge lift on it. It's backed in, we deal with the fact that it's backed in. Um, they don't want to get a keys, we deal with the fact they don't want to get a keys. You just kind of roll with it. You have a, a process to go through, and, you know, it's every step of the way, when you hit point A and B, is based on what happens, you choose that option, A or B, and you go and you keep moving through it methodically until you're done with the repossession. So, as you can see, we got what we came to get. There was a, a second piece of collateral that we're after that they're trying to tell us won't be back for a while, but uh, we know that it's coming back this weekend sometime, or at least we have information that it might be, so we'll watch for it at the uh, residence. Uh, they'll be on height alert, but uh, Sounds like they're going to go ahead and go down to the bank and pay, which is ultimately what the bank wants. The bank doesn't want both vehicles back. They want uh, the money, you know, and uh, we are the security enforcers. We go out and we turn the tables and put it in their favor and give the bank the leverage that they need to uh, get people to respond to their calls and their emails and their, you know, the bull crap that uh, people play with them. They don't want to just man up and freaking do the right thing and say, hey, look, I don't have the money right now. I'm out of work. Uh, I'm going to bring the vehicle down and and drop it off there at the bank and, and you guys hang on to it until we can get the money put together, you know? I mean, whatever it takes, but this crap is hiding your vehicle and lying and, you know, being subhuman. You see it every day, and I ain't got no respect for it. Uh, I'm not out to judge people for the choices they make. I just have to understand why they make them so that I can do my job. All right, we'll get this one dropped off at their secured impound right up the street here, and we'll head to the next one.